corridors which have been bustling with activity during November. Because every year at this time, our teachers would have been busy planning, discussing and rehearsing secretly in the classrooms, auditoriums, etc. A wonderful Children's Day program for us. COVID-19 is acting as a barrier between our school, our teachers and us. This year has definitely taken a toll on all our lives and has changed our lifestyles completely. However, we must not let that affect us. Okay, leaving all that aside, let us dwell into the past to find out how and why we celebrate this special day. Jawaharlal Nehru's birthday was officially declared as Children's Day after his death in the year 1964. Nehruji's bond and fondness with children is legendary. Well, 14th November is the day that we Indian children celebrate. But are you aware that there is a World Children's Day as well? Yes, that's right. It was first established in 1954 and is celebrated on 20th of November each year to celebrate international togetherness and welfare of children. Worldwide events such as Disney parties, movie marathons, camps, dance events, visits to water parks, etc. are just some of the things that are done by both schools and parents to make this day a memorable one for their children. Friends, children are like tender buds who have just started to bloom and therefore need the utmost care of their parents, teachers and elders. And here at Kamal School, our teachers are truly our second mothers. Friends, I had started writing this article before the 12th of November and was spellbound by the amount of love that was poured upon us by our teachers who in spite of so many limitations which are a fantastic virtual Children's Day Assembly for us. I truly thank the Almighty for blessing me with such beautiful souls. Okay, before I wind up, let's all promise to keep the child in us always alive. Let the naughtiness and innocence be a part of our lives. Happy Children's Day. Thank you.